guess I will clean up Eli's mess because he will not clean it up himself. So it is 5.36, I took Eli on a short walk, and then I try to go, now that it's like warm right out, it's kind of warm, I'm not gonna lie, like I hate to complain about being hot, but it kind of is. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on a walk, I try to go on a walk or a run after school, and I'm just gonna go on a walk and listen to worship music, because I'm not gonna lie, the faculty meeting kind of just some things were said that I'm like frustrated about as a teacher um so I'm not gonna like go on about it on here but yeah I'm just kind of frustrated so I just want to listen to worship music and like kind of calm down enjoy like God's nature and all that so do that I also do my devotionals normally in the morning in the afternoon like when I get home but we were on a two-hour delay because it was foggy out this morning so, um, I actually had time to do it before school this morning. So, yeah, so let's go on a mile walk and enjoy ourselves and enjoy this beautiful weather. Okay, just got back from my walk. Um, it's currently 6.30. I, um, Something I love to do in like the evenings when it's nice out and it's just to sit outside and read. And normally I will like bring my like Bible and everything out here and do that too. But like I said, I did that this morning. So I'm going to read. I'm reading The Goal by L. Kennedy. It's the fourth book of this series. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I just enjoy it. I especially love it like this time of the evening because the sun it's like shady but then like in mid-afternoon the sun is really out so you get a good tan if you want it but in the evenings the sun is not facing us so it's really nice but i'm gonna sit out here and read until it is time for supper Just ate supper, taking Eli outside to use the bathroom. Look at that sun popping through. Woohoo. Did you go use the bathroom, Eli? <laughs> okay, it is 7.37 and we're going to pick my PJs out. So I'm gonna wear shorts because it is warm in our house. I think we're gonna do this little tan set from Target. I have this in tan and then um, green. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to condition, shampoo and condition my hair tonight and shave. I normally don't take like an everything shower during the weeknight, but Sunday I was a little lazy, so we're doing it tonight. So it is what it is. Um, for shampoo and conditioner, I use the, okay, well, first off, I had dandruff really bad. So I do use like the head and shoulders dandruff shampoo. Um, I wash my hair on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So normally on Sundays and Thursdays, I will use my dandruff shampoo. And then on Tuesdays, I use the Kirsten S um, shampoo and conditioner so that's kind of like what I do it's been working um really what's like crazy that I'm just now like discovering this and I feel dumb but um blow drying like not going to bed with wet hair has really helped my dandruff 
and just like helped like my oily hair because I have oily face that like my scalp will be oily like it's a big old ordeal and so this year I've really started like being more because my coworker and I were talking about how because she's kind of the same way as me we both have thick hair and everything and we hate blow drying our hair but like our pillows are disgusting because we go to bed with wet hair so she's like I'm really trying to blow dry my hair and I was like I am too so we're kind of on this journey together I guess you could say but yeah so we are going to take a shower okay we're going to do the skincare um so if you don't follow me on tiktok you should um i recently opened up about like my acne journey and um over like i have been going to the dermatologist since i was in college because i honestly just have breakouts that like i'm in middle school and it sucks it's embarrassing i hate it because it's like at the point like where i don't feel like i have to wear makeup every day um, just because I feel like I'm, like, matured in that area where I don't need to always wear makeup. But I also, like, I wear makeup a lot of days because I want to cover this up. And it's so hard to, like, find that balance. But anyways, um, and nothing's really just been working. And so, actually, we did find something whenever I was, like, in college around covid we found something that worked really well and then they discontinued it and i've like never found anything that works since so you know that's awesome but um so honestly i've kind of like known accutane like might be in the future um let me see this first i don't even know how to say it but it's always been like last resort obviously just because it's a very painful process and finally, my dermatologist brought it up to me on April 15th. Yeah, we're on April 15th. And I was like, well, I have like, I've thought about it. It's definitely been like a last resort situation. And everything was so... She put me on an antibiotic for 30 days. I take a pill in the morning and at night. And then I put on, what I just put on, I put on twice a day. Tretinon is supposed to help with my acne scars. I put this on at night. And then I use Winlepi twice a day. So I will say I have not really broke out lately since I started the antibiotic, but I just feel like I have very, like, um, so the term is say a sciastic not acne. I hope I'm saying that right. And, like, that's, like, what I want to get rid of. And I think that's, like, what Accutane, what I read online, really helps with. So, yeah. It's just a very frustrating thing to go through as a adult as an adult honestly and then I just end my night with a survey moisturizing lotion so then I'll kind of show you like my face situation but like you can see like this like I just want this to go away more than anything and it's just like past like scarring and things like that like that's like what I want to go away and I told her I was like honestly I'm fine with the hormonal acne like I get that like once a month with you know being on my period like that's fine like I can deal with that but I'm just like so tired of breaking out like I am 14 again 13 14 that kind of thing so yep yeah. okay I'm gonna like to brush my hair I'm using this way leave-in conditioner this was my birthday gift from Ulta Using that, I probably will not repurchase it because it's expensive, but a free birthday gift, I will take it. But I normally use the Heritage. Um, I really do like the Heritage um, brand. Not Your Mother's. I use this for like frizz control. Like once my hair gets a little bit drier, I'll put it on. I like the Kirsten S brand. Um, 
Head and Shoulders brand. I use this for heat protection. And I like the Batiste um, Overnight Cleaner. I use the Heritage Hairspray. So that's kind of like what I use. If you're like curious, <laughs> if you really care. Um, I use a wet hairbrush. And then I use um, this for dry oil mist, like whenever I get done like styling my hair. If you have something else, let me know because I'm not like 100%, I'm not like a big, big fan of it. But I haven't really found any else thing that I like, um, drugstore friendly, because I am a teacher. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Then we're gonna pack our lunch for tomorrow. And yeah. Okay, so my outfit for tomorrow. I'm gonna wear jeans. We are allowed to wear jeans on the weekday now, as long as we like dress it up a little bit. So I'm gonna wear this with this like black little top and has like this little ruffle at the bottom so it kind of dresses up a little bit and then I'm gonna wear these sandals from Target. This is from Walmart. I think I got it on the clearance shop for like probably three dollars. I love Walmart clearance. And then my good old old navy jeans. So yeah but I saved so much time in the morning to lay your outfit out the night before I'm telling you. And then I have my workout outfit laid out for tomorrow morning. Um, a lot of people at the school are like, like my coworkers are always amazed when I talk about how I get up like every morning to work out before school. But first off, I don't have kids. If I was probably married with kids, I probably would not because I'd be so tired. But um, I don't have to do that. I'm not really worried about that. I don't have that problem right now in my life. And honestly, I love, like I give so much to my job and to my kids to the, during the day, my students that like I love getting to do something first thing in the morning for me, for my health, for my body, for my mind. Like it mentally helps me so much. And a lot of people are just like, how are you not so tired? Yeah, I'm tired by the end of the day, but honestly it gives me a lot of energy throughout the day. You would be really surprised how much energy it gives you. So don't knock it till you try it. It's definitely hard. It's getting harder as we are in the last like um, 20 something days left of school so I'm not saying it's been easy lately like it's definitely been harder to get out of bed but I still work out and Fridays I treat if I work out every day during the week or I will say some Fridays I will not work out in the morning I'll do my workout after school but if I work out four to five days a week in the morning I treat myself to a coffee so find what works for you and yeah and I literally do like a 30 to 40 minute workout. So I don't, I, and I do it at home. I do the Sydney Cummings workout online on YouTube. It's free, highly recommend it. Um, so there's my little rant. This has been a very chatty night routine. So I hope you enjoy it. I normally don't do chatty things like this. But yeah, okay, we need to pack my lunch for tomorrow and then we need to make a little, find a little sweet treat. I always need a dessert at night. That's my red flag, I would say, as a human person. <laughs> I need a sweet treat at night. So, let's go. Okay, so for lunch this week, I have been taking um, some wheat thins, variety of fruit I love. I know it's a little more expensive to just buy it pre-cut, but you know, I love it. So, I will pay for it. Um, a banana and a granola bar for break. And then I'm having um, salami turkey wraps. So that's what I'm taking for lunch this week. And then I normally raid my candy bar <laughs> too. But I'm gonna be completely honest because sometimes you just need some candy to get through the day, <laughs> especially at this time of year. So. Hello, it is a couple days later and I just want to come on here and end off my night routine vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and kind of got to see like how what I do in the evening as a teacher and kind of unwind and relax and things like that. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.